Hello everyone, welcome back. We're playing Lake today, and I might sound a little bit uh, weird. I My sinuses have been stuffed for, I think, the last week. And it's really uncomfortable. But I want to dive into Lake uh, just to see what this game is about. I heard some good things, I heard some bad things. Basically, what we're going to do is we're playing as a female protagonist, which is awesome. We have to deliver... Uh, I think mail, we're like a mail delivery person driving around a lake and there's stuff that's going on. It's, it's supposed to be a casual, very relaxing game. And we're in DOS. Added 87. Cool. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life uh is the reason why i can't be at the labor day party okay the graphics looks amazing but i'm glad we made the deadline the atmosphere it's already pretty cool and i'm glad i can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old province oaks oh it's like a uh, a diary yellow hello there it is steve uh, hope i didn't wake you up I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. All right, so the voice acting is also on par. And I think this uh, the setting is actually in the 80s, or late 80s. Yeah, there you go. September 1st, so 1986. Up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Oh, wow. It was like, hey, the car is driving into the lake. But <laughs> he took a steep turn. Lake, yeah, there you have it. And um, the music will definitely get me uh, uh, a copyright it's like, strike. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. But I think the devs actually okay, sir, greenlit what's me. The plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. All right, so here we go. We actually have to do something. Uh, WSD to walk around. Nice. Mouse is to uh, do do the thingy. Walk to mailbox. Here we go. Deliver the mail. We done it. We done it. Look! Look at this. Look at all the details. It's amazing, isn't it? And we can actually do uh, whoop whoop thumbnail stuff. I just have to remember that I uh, <laughs> did something there. Usually I just take a random shot that looks great. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time. So you'll have to get it out of the back. 
All right. So basically, we're learning on uh, mail delivery. <laughs> Walk to the back of the mail truck. All right. Open the hatch. Will we... Do we have to... Oh, there's only one. And we actually have to select a, the correct parcel. But there's only one right now. All right. Front door of the house. And then, ding dong. Your package is here. Oh, no. That's not how it works in America, right? They just dump it there and hope nobody steals it. Oh, no. We do have to ring the doorbell. Because that's what we're doing here as no. well. And if... No answer. If nobody's home... They take I'm it with them it again, again, back to the postal office. They write a little note that, hey, you weren't there. Pick it up at the postal office and you have to pick it up yourself. We do not drop parcels at the door here. It doesn't happen. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Absolutely. Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Cool. What is it this time? Uh, another letter? Oh, look at that. Oh, tire swing. There's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Ah, that's it. Oh, walk to the front door of the house. No, I want to check out the tire swing. Thanks, Frank. See ya. Somebody needs to mow the lawn. Tire swing. Boop. There's physics. Can we sit here? Uh, but... It looks so cool. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful view? Yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. We have a dog. There's a dog house there. <gasps> we got even more yard on that side. And there's also probably a backyard. Holy moly, this house is huge. It's my parents' house. That makes sense. Wise residence. Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just Hi. wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. I need to check one thing real quickly because... Oh, Tuesday, September the 2nd, morning. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Uh, almost. I'm almost ready for my first day. I kind of want to see if I can do that. There. All right. That mouse cursor was bugging me. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. Yeah, fresh. It's a great day to be on the road. Like a flower. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck. So, you're good to go. Thanks. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Yeah. Bon voyage. Thank you. I don't want to be uh, the smart know-it-all. Oh, look at that. It's like GTA. There's a lot of packages that we have to deliver, though. Uh, M... pretty awesome all right let's see how we can do how well we can do there's supposed to be a package right here and since there's no traffic i'm like screw that shit i'm parking it right here open 
But which... Is it that way? Uh, that one? I think it's that one. Wait, do we need... Can I... How can I tell? I can zoom in. General store. I think that's 207 Main Street. Because we are on Main Street. Okay. That one. Pick it up. What on earth did these folks order? Something heavy? Yellow. I got you a package. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Um, you do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Right, this game is really enjoyable. Can we talk to Nancy? People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. Yeah, I'm gonna browse the shop too. <laughs> There's apples, tangerines, pears, or pears, 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 Brosnan. Then there's stuff up there. Mr. X, Flapcorn, Later, Kool-Aid, Fruit Twinkles, lots of stuff. Postcards. Man, I love these little uh, things. There's even frozen pizza there. And uh, what is this about? This is, okay, more cereal, I guess, or cookies, crackers. I don't know. I love your shop, Nancy. See you next time. Thank you. Right, so uh, let's deliver a letter next, which is here. A 103 Main Street. Oh, it's it's right there. Deliver the mail. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Sorry, I'll I'll park. I'll move my car or truck, whatever. Look at that mountain there. It looks beautiful. Mm. All right, let's Actually go this way. This. I agree. I truly agree. This is very relaxing. This game, even though, I mean, I've read a couple of negative reviews, but that was mostly because of people complaining that the game was shorter than they anticipated. Uh, thank you. So far, I can't seem to find anything that's bugging me it's running smoothly Moe's diner uh, the there's Stan's diner wait it's called Moe's diner now yeah uh, yeah 500 leg roads the it, it's running smoothly it looks amazing voice acting's on top the it kind of gives me a um what's the game again with the girl and the before the storm thing the walking sim. That game. Completely forgot about it. Uh, strange. Life is strange. Meredith Wise. Fripes. As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Um, Maureen? Wow! Maureen! Long time no see! I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you! Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay, one quick drink. We can okay. do that. One quick drink then. In this little town. Busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, 
I will not take no for an answer. Um, <laughs> coffee sounds coffee good. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up. Two? And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You oh. had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. I could go for some pie, uh, sure. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Ashley doesn't sound too well. Uh, oh my goodness. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, maybe you should check that out. M maybe you should check that out. Honestly, first the roof and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. That's... Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I, I have to do some work anyway, so... But thank you very much for your hospitality there. Alright, so now we need to drive to the other side. Can we... We can't enter from this side. Just scoot over to the proper side where the wheel is. And the paddles. Okie dokie. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, this game is actually... I think I'm gonna turn this into a... Uh, a full series at one point but right now I had to make a video because I completely forgot that developers actually handed me over a key for uh, to create a video which is why I'm creating this video right now and I the only thing I can say about this is that I don't have any complaints it's so awesome So we got uh, more letters and oh, that's a lovely bridge here. More letters to deliver here. It's here, right? And more packages further up ahead. Right. Deliver mail. I wonder how deep the storyline goes with every character because they all seem to have something going on. And now we need to go here. Oops. It's not here. It's this house. Which is 200 Lake Road. Alright, let's get that package. I'm wondering, if, is that the teddy bear? Yeah. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Look at all the details. Oh, hello, pussy caddies. And look at that. Look at this here. The letterbox. There's a cat on it. Hello. Hello. There's a lot of cats here. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Um, yeah, I'm not going to go that right. Hi, this. Miss yes. Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? Absolutely. This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Um, 22 years. 22 years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Calm okay. down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? You are the cat lady. <laughs> Sure. 
Let's play along. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. It's fine. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Absolutely. Uh, it's, uh... Yes, here you go. I don't know what it is. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Oh. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. You're a little bit sour there, uh, Miss Jenkins. It's not nice of you to uh, act like that. We we are, are millennials. We are really busy. A few days. I won't even need that now. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh, gas station. Another one. Oh, it's the same one that we uh, that that we delivered mail with Frank. All right, so we got one more package. And we should probably just go inside then. We can't. Uh oh, hi, mister. I didn't see you, I'm sorry. Hi there. I've Are got you not a mister? for this address. You're not Frank. Nope. Uh <laughs> I don't think a mustache would suit me. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Uh, Thomas is my father? Also, this one, aren't you a little young to be a mechanic? Please don't. Who cares? She's skillful. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Absolutely. All right. All right, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. I like you. I like Lori. Great, so we only have one more level to level <laughs> letter to deliver. Yeah, I don't want to talk on the radio this well, but we probably have to. Yeah, it's turned off again. I'm very sorry if you want to listen to the radio. You can actually go and play the game yourself. It is on Steam. And uh, yeah, there's a radio option. Where was Bear Creek again? It's this road, according to the map. Love it. I love this road. Reminds me of a place where I grew up, but the place I grew up in wasn't this fast. This is not the right oh, road, right. is it? Bear Creek. Oh, near it's the here. Old lumber yard. Look, there's a waterfall. Alright, so I think we're here. Where's the mailbox? There's a new face. Um, yes. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Could be important. 
Oh, what the? Um, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be like, hey, I mean, it's none of my business, but I I like to help, so <laughs> if we can't help... Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry that you got a, uh, a negative letter there, mister. I, I, I didn't want to be the bringer of bad news, but I am. All right, so... We have to return to the post office, and I think that since we played one entire day, we actually... Uh, let me check the map. Where are we now? We're there. Okay, just all the way back. Yeah, all the way back to where we came from. And let's drive. There is a... Uh, I think there's a fast travel thing, but man, screw that. Driving around is awesome. And that was one of the complaints that I read, like, oh, nobody's driving. The yes, I am driving the entire distance. I don't want to use the fast travel option. Because you're missing a lot of things about the game, a lot of environments, a lot of contemplating moments, so to speak. Yeah, all the way back to the post office. What did I say about the bringer of bad news? Sometimes... A Mail delivery person does that. Yeah, it's the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger, right? But yeah, I'm. I wonder. I probably think that every day you. Uh, I mean, we we we've seen a couple of personalities here right now, and uh, some of them, <coughs> cat lady, aren't really overly positive. Is that a good way of saying it? There's even a police uh, car. So here we are. Yeah, that seems like a very good spot to end this video. Let's park the car properly. There. Almost. Uh, Cutscene moment. Wise residence, Tuesday evening. Phone rings. I don't want to end the workday yet. Hello? Hello? Hi, Meredith. Oh, How on. are you? How's the job? It's fine. It's, uh, I'm doing great. Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Ah, oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Um, yeah. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Mom, you're getting drunk? Uh, stay home and read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. Hmm? The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter One. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed, right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Oh my goodness. Seems like a interesting book. Wednesday, September 3rd morning. But yes, we have done the first day. So if you like what you're seeing, make sure that you can... Um, that you can. That you will... Play the game yourself. It's on Steam. So go ahead, check it out. Thank you very much for watching this first look of Lake. And I will see you next time.